Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Crafty Travels. My name is Riley and today I'm going to show you all how to make your very own DIY Mother's Day gift that looks a little bit like this. Now, I created that masterpiece starting with this floating photo frame from Michaels. I was fortunate enough to find this on sale. It was only $10 and it's gonna work perfect for this project today. Um, you can definitely use anything else really. You can use any picture frame or whatever will work. I prefer these because I do like it to be see-through. Um, I think it gives it a really nice look. Now how this works is I have a side piece right here. It's gonna slide out and that is going to release the glass panels on the inside. Um, now there's two of them, and in between these two panels, right here is where I put my vinyl decal. I'm gonna set that aside for now. I'm gonna go ahead and take my photo frame, as well as this little piece, which keeps the glass locked inside. We're gonna take this and go paint. So the first thing that we have to do is prep the frame. You'll need sandpaper, or as you can see here, I just used a nail buffer and it tackled the job just fine. This is an important step if you wanna paint your frame a new color. Removing the shiny finish will help your paint adhere to the surface of your frame. Next, we'll move on to paint. Here I have a standard Any Surface Spray Paint by Krylon. It's paint and primer in matte black. When you first open your spray can, ensure you shake it up for at least a minute before your first use, and then periodically throughout your project. When you start painting, keep it to short bursts and maintain movement to create thin, even strokes. Remember, you can always add more paint, but you can't take it away, and trust me, there isn't much worse than dripping spray paint on your project. With the first side done, give it at least 30 minutes to dry. Before you flip it, make sure it's dry to the touch, then you continue with the other side. While we wait for the paint to dry, we can continue with prepping our glass. So go ahead and remove any photos or stickers so there are no obstructions on the glass. the adhesive is being stubborn, you can always use glass cleaner. Let it soak for a moment and then wipe it off and that should do the trick. And now for my decal. I have Crycat Design Space opened up and I'm going to go ahead and type in mommy. Go ahead and make fun. Yes, I still call my mom, mommy. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and choose my preferred font. And then next, I'm going to adjust the size of it to fit inside my photo frame. So for that, all you have to do is measure the dimensions of your frame. Normally, it'll already say it on there when you purchase it, and then make your decal accordingly. I did end up bolding the font just because I wanted it a little bit thicker. I thought it would just look better. No other reason than that. Next, I made another text box with my sister and my full name. Um, those I wanted in smaller cursive font in front of the word mommy. I thought it would look really nice. Yes, with cursive, you have to attach the lettering. So I had to select it, click ungroup, to make each letter its own field, then drag and drop so it looks like perfect cursive handwriting, nice and fluid. Luckily to add as a finishing touch, I remember I had a leftover heart from another project and I thought it would fit perfectly on this sign as well. So I went ahead and added it to my decal in between mine and my sister's name. Here I did change the color of mommy and the only reason I really did that was to kind of get the full effect of what my decal would look like when it was on the frame. 
So I wanted to make Mommy a lighter color than the names. The reason why I didn't choose white is because I honestly just don't like looking at white with the white background of Cry Cut Design Space. After that, my decal was all ready to go, so I went ahead and sent it to my Cry Cut machine. Next thing I needed to do was get my mats ready. So I had a nice scrap of black left over that just happened to be the perfect size for mine and my sister's name to be cut out on. I attached that to my mat and then it was ready to go. Next, I prepared my mat for my white vinyl and that was for the mommy decal. Stuck it on and it was ready to send to my machine. Your next step is to load your mats into your cry cut machine and then just sit back, relax, and let it do its work. Now that both of my decals are all cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my vinyl from my mat so I can begin the weeding process. Also, don't forget to put that cover back on your mat. I live in a household with two cats and a dog, so there's nothing more annoying than getting animal hair stuck to them, which is perfectly preventable if you go ahead and make sure you cover it when you're done using them. Once you've finished weeding, it's now time to put your decal onto your transfer tape or transfer paper, whichever you prefer to use, so that way it's all ready to get put onto your project. Now that everything is ready for our final steps, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down our glass one last time just to make sure no grease or fingerprints or any excess oils were left on top. And again, I just do that because it's going to help your decal adhere to your glass that much better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Mommy decal. I'm utilizing that one first because I want Nadia and Gabriella to be in front of it. So now go ahead and center it, and then once you're happy with it, slowly brush out the whole surface of the decal so there's no air pockets. And then you can go ahead, pull up your transfer tape, and your decal should be all good to go. After that, I just followed it up with the names, centered it again, and repeated the process. And there you go. Go ahead and add your second panel of glass on top. Maybe give it a couple extra wipe downs to make sure it's clean and good to go. Then you can go ahead and slide your glass back into the frame. And you did it. There's your finished product. guys so here is the final product I absolutely love how this turned out and I'm sure that all moms out there will love it too if you liked this project or just enjoyed watching this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe below I'd also love to see if you guys use this idea to make your own DIY project so follow me on Instagram and tag me in your photo so I can see how this worked out for you don't forget to comment down below and let me know any future projects you guys would like to see. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next.